Greetings and salutations, and today is Monday, so we're going to talk about the herb garden. So, the herb garden you get at level 94, 96, or 98, or something like that. You, you get it before you hit level 100. And what you do is you go around and you collect herbs, and it's really straightforward. Now, the there's a few... Okay, so this will happen. You'll get these guys when, sometimes doing stuff when you're picking up the herbs. You can also get them when you're doing mines, but, um, and they will drop like 16 or more, something, 15 to 20, uh, herbs of the one that you just picked. So you can go around and do all that and maybe grow every day. But what you can also do, and this is especially helpful if, um, you are, you're an alchemist or you have, um, inscription or something like that. What um, brings you here? You can pick what you plant next, so you don't have just a whole bunch of randoms. So you, instead of having five for the milling that you need for inscription, you'll have like four or three or like six. So you get one, but then you have one left over. You can just pick which one you want to do. I have it on a random set, so it just changes every day. And the work orders are something? Dranic seeds. Now I am not using the. I am not doing them currently because I am saving See up. See you later. Because where's the Vendor lady. Is it this lady? Yes, it is. Okay. So this this is what you can get with seeds. So a thousand gets you a pet, which is what I'm currently saving up for. Big surprise. Um, but you can also get transmog gear. You can get a hoe. You can get a sickle. You can get a pitchfork. You can get a scythe, and you can get a shovel. Um, I don't know that they do anything other than just look interesting. Yay, farmer RP. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So level. One you get right off level two. You just have to buy the blueprint. It's like seven hundred fifty or a thousand gold, something like that. Same as the other ones. Now the level three one, you get questions, I believe. Yes. So when you collect five hundred Dranic seeds, you get you unlock the blueprint and you just pay a thousand gold for it, and then you <coughs> excuse me, you pay a thousand gold for it, and then you can build it. Um, the seeds you get from just herbing, picking up the herbs. Do you get them from picking up herbs all around? Okay, so yeah. if you if you have herbalism, you can get them from picking up herbs in Pandaria as well. So um, you'll probably get this faster if you have the herbalism profession. Um, but otherwise, it's you get a few every day. And if you go around collecting treasures and you notice there are ones that are that involve herbs, sometimes, not always, but sometimes, they will also have the seeds in them, and sometimes rare to pick up the seeds, and just you kind of have to get lucky. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the herb garden. There's nothing too exciting. Um, so herbs are used for cooking some things, like aside from alchemy and inscription. They're used for first aid, they're used for cooking some things. Um, but mostly they are used, for me at least, um, they, are, they have been being used for work orders at the trading post, um, which I know annoys the hell out of my husband when that happens because he likes to use his herbs for inscriptions. It's so. herbs again today. For oh, me. it's herbs again Every today? Every single day. Oh no! So let's go find out what it is for me. Maybe it'll be something else. Uh. Let's pick these up first. Ooh, nine of hexes crystals. Okay. Hello. It's herbs for me too. Nagar and Arrow Bloom. Okay, well, I'm going to be using all of them up. That's what it is for me. Gross. Okay, Seat so out. that's the thing. Um, and then just like every other consumable, essentially, and profession material, you can leave them in your bank. You don't have to have them in your bank with, on you at all times, which is very, very handy. And yeah, so that's it for this one. Tomorrow we will do the Pet Menagerie, which is pretty interesting. As you can see, I got mine to level 2, and I, once you get once you get the pet menagerie going, and I only noticed this at level 2, but I went from level 1 to level 2 very quickly, um, they, your random pets of yours will just start wandering around your garrison. So I've got my jumping spider, my rusty snail, my amber moth, there's a, what are you, savory beetle. And then at one point, I had two pets that were just kind of walking alongside each other. They were going for a walk together. It was very cute. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Oh, let's switch this to webcam mode. I have to start a black screen. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave comments and let me know what you would like to see um, me do next. Because after tomorrow, I don't really know what I'm going to do. So let me know. Anyway, you know the drill. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.